All right, this is what we're getting there to do. We're gonna start a new training Friday. But what you wanna do is go ahead, answer the questions and get on the list, the phone list, the links below. We got a lot of stuff that we're gonna get into. If you're gonna to wanna to be part of it, go below, get on the link, sign up for a phone call. All right. It was very interesting because something else that I did is I got in my vehicle and I went out and I just kind of judged Black Friday traffic. And I actually went to a Walmart and this was really interesting because there were people at the Walmart. It wasn't empty by no stretch of the imaginations, but there wasn't a crowd. There wasn't a crowd. And I remember years ago, years and years ago, this is typically what would happen on a Black Friday. Or sometimes it would happen Thanksgiving Day. People would be literally lined up to get into the stores, lined up. There would be fights and there would be altercations because people wanted to get their Black Friday stuff. I didn't see any of that stuff. Like once again, Walmart wasn't empty. There was there were people there, but it wasn't crowded. It wasn't crowded. And then I got home and I just like went to YouTube to observe some people talking about Black Friday sales. And there was this girl, she had this, this video and she was in Walmart and she would show what she was looking at and stuff. And literally there was no one that interrupted her scenes. There was no one that walked by because even though it was Walmart and there was all these sales, the crowds were low. The crowds were really, really low. And then I went to a Target, same thing. Target wasn't empty, but there wasn't the, I remember going way, way back that I tried to go to a Target on Black Friday. And this is the situation. The parking lot was full and there were people lined up waiting to get into this Target. That didn't exist. That didn't exist during this time frame. It didn't exist at all. And I know many people are like, well, everyone's shopping online. Well, people were shopping online back then too. I don't think that the shopping online thing was the big thing. I think that the, you know, with the lack of stimulus money in the economy, um, we're seeing true economic measures. And one of the things that I really, really am waiting to see is what I'm gonna call the Black Friday phantom numbers. We're going into an election year. Even though I went out, saw with my own eyeballs that eyeballs, traffic was low, Target, uh, Walmart, other areas, um, went by the mall, traffic was down. And this is something else too. This is something else too. I wasn't able to go there, but I remember years and years ago that Lenox Mall became a complete and absolute zoo during Christmas time. Like it was, it was just very, very hard to find a place to park. You had to wait to park. I did not go by there. Uh, that was a little bit far for me, but essentially, I wonder what happened if you're in Atlanta and you were near Lenox, did you see any Black Friday traffic? Did you see them swamping out the malls? Or did you see what I saw? Traffic was down, traffic was low. And apparently this means that sales were low, I would assume. Because, you know, the, this whole notion of where we are economically is just becoming more and more apparent. Now, I don't think that we are where we were 2009, 2010, 2011, 2011. I don't think we're there. What I do think is what you're seeing is the, con the economy react to the lack of stimulus money. Stimulus money has come out, loans have come out, and 
essentially right now we have a situation where people are having to deal with the real economy and the real numbers and the real measures. And this is one of the things that we're beginning to see because without stimulus money, the economy behaves very, very differently, very, very differently. Um, I can pretty much go to any place I want without having to wait because the traffic is low. And one of the things that I see is economic activity is very, very real compared to the pandemic numbers. And this is why I really would suspect that this is why traffic was low on Black Friday. And if you don't believe me, go to YouTube and look Black Friday sales and you'll see a lot of people talking about the sales at Walmart, the things they have gotten on. And you will literally see that there's no one interfering with their videos. And this is something that's really hard to do if you're filming in public to film something unless they just redid every shot that, that someone interrupted. But I just noticed that whenever they would pan the camera to the, the aisles were not packed. They weren't packed. And I remember, you know, years and years ago, going out on a Black Friday was just like, it was kind of crazy. It was just crazy because everybody was out. Everyone was like, didn't see any, didn't see any of that. Didn't see none of that. And what I think, this is kind of my thought process. We have taken the stimulus money out of the economy and we have moved to the real economy. And this is where we're seeing the impact and the effects of people not having the money to do these things. I, I saw a video where this guy was being extremely flippant, was talking about $200 for a carton of milk and a pack of eggs. And I'm just sitting there like, okay, um, I don't think milk is gone up that much. I would say milk and milk and the carton of eggs might be eight bucks, not 200. But one of the things that you see is people want to kind of push the, the numbers of where things are and where people are and what people are doing. So, I do think that inflation is real. Inflation has impacted a lot of people and it's caused a lot of issues. But the reality is people are now having to deal with the real money. And it, th this is one of the things I find to be really interesting. And this, this comes back down to remote that we're kind of going to take a little detour. The number of people who are working remotely and this was something that when I did uh, this guy who got fired, he lives in the Philippines. Um, they were like, I, I had no clue because I've never worked for a large company. I've never worked remote. I did not know that when you work remote and you're interfacing into the company's mainframe or computer system, if you're outside the country, I did not know that that opened that country, that company's mainframe to being hacked. I did not know that. And that that's a very, very serious, serious issue. Really, really serious issue. And what I'm seeing is the reality of the real economy. And I talked about this. I talked about this and a lot of people's like, well, you know, they're striking, um, you know, people are going to self terminate. They're just going to self terminate because what these companies are doing, and let me just kind of go ahead and give you my scenario and what I think is going to happen. Um, automation AI is everywhere. Automation and AI is everywhere. And what these people are going to do is default to automation AI. And this is the thing. It doesn't have to be a hundred percent. If AI can do, the job is 70%, 75%, as well as a human, it's in the door. 75%, that's good enough. Because one of the things I have noticed is that every time I call a company, 
I am introduced to AI and it's the voice system and it's, it's getting smarter and smarter and smarter and smarter. So what you're going to see in the beginning of 2024 is mass layoffs. You're going to see, probably going to see it right now because uh, there's like a lot of people laying off at the moment. And one of the things that you have to understand is you got to get more skills. You got to get more skills to make yourself be layoff proof or you have to be well documented into your industry. Uh, I've been talking to a lot of folks and I've heard a lot of stories, a lot of stories. So one of the things that you want to do is prepare yourself for it. Cause like, let me just go ahead and say, there's a group of people. I don't care what's going to happen. They're not going to feel it. They're just not going to feel it because of their industry, their education, their work. They're just not going to feel it. Uh, they're going to be out like right now. There's someone who's going to be looking at a house today and they're going to put an offer in the house and then they're going to buy and close on that house. There's a group of people and I'm going to say I'm going to call it the top 20 percent who just will not be impacted or affected by what is going to happen in the economy just not going to bother them. And that should be your goal to move yourself to that top 20%. Um, because I think it's going to get pretty rough 2024, which is an election year. And this is where you're going to see reports. I, I just feel it. You're going to see reports. Black Friday sales are up. And this is something that I talked about before. Black Friday sales used to be like going up 20, 25%, right? And you'll see Black Friday sales are up 3%, 4%, and they're, they're going to they're gonna push it and make it sound really, really positive. But, you know, in 2017, 18, 19, we had Black Friday sales that was like 20% higher than the previous year. And then it's like, it's going to go, it's going to, the numbers are going to look the numbers are not going to look impressive, but the way that the story is going to be written is that this is a great thing. This is an awesome thing. This is, you know, it's, it's good. It's good. It's good. And what you're going to see is the number of people who are actually going to follow this and like, once again, I understand there, there, you know, many people watching videos, you're in various sectors of the economy, you're doing different things. Understand that some of you will not be touched. You, some of you will go do what you're doing, work your jobs, be just fine. And there will be another group of you who will be deeply, deeply impacted by what's going on with the economy. So it really just kind of depends upon what you're doing, where you're working and what's your career path. But as we go along, this whole thing is just going to get worse, worse and worse and worse and worse. And you're going to see a lot of people kind of fall out the frame because this whole notion of I'll talk about that in another video. I'm not even going to go down that path, but this whole notion, I'll touch on it. This whole notion of people living in the cars. I found a girl who lives in her Tesla. All right, Teslas are pretty expensive, pretty expensive. So I don't know how that goes, but one of the things you will see is a vast adjustment in living arrangements and the things that people are doing and the things that people are situating themselves in, in this new economy, which is really, really real. So let me know your thoughts and opinions. Did you go out on Black Friday? Did you do any Black Friday shopping? Did you spend any money on Black Friday? Did you shop online? What did you do? Let me know in the comments. And once again, we're getting ready to get into some very different and real training in the month of December. Very, very different. All right, that's all I got for you guys. I'll talk to you in the next one.